good team win. We needed it, and uh, it was good. You know, proud of our guys. We overcame some adversity. We didn't get into El Paso till right around midnight on on Friday night, and, and they handled that well. Um, it's hard to win games, and it, it is. And 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 you need to enjoy them when you do win them. And we, and we certainly are. We've been close in a couple of conference games and didn't get it done. So to get off the type of start we had on Saturday night was 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 definitely a positive and something we'll look forward to doing. The Troy defense was in full effect Saturday as they only let seven points come from the Aggies. Um, defensively, I thought we did a nice job in the red zone. Uh, this is really the second week in a row. Um, and on third down. A couple award winners. We we'll always give some awards when we win games. Uh, the defensive player of the week this week was Rashad Dillard. He, I think he scored his first touchdown ever, like Pee Wee, high school, ever. That's what he told me after the game. Uh, he did a good job holding his gap in the run game. Uh, got a couple of pressures on the quarterback, and then had the huge fumble recovery for a touchdown in the second half. Pick it up, run, <laughs> and, and turn around and jump around. But I didn't have enough energy once I got to the end zone. <laughs> it's true. First one ever. Hopefully it's not the last one, but it was the first one. The Troy defense finished the night with 14 tackles, which was the most tackles for loss by a Troy team since 2008. Rashad Diller had a major stack to put the finishing touches on this Troy victory. He remains humble and owes it all to teamwork. Well, we all have to do our job. We have to play assignment football. One person can't. Uh, one person can't just do his own thing, like um, squeezing, reading the block better. Etc. You know, we just have to play together as a whole and just focus.